Hi everyone, this is Regina Sanders here, the Bible Coach. Um, as you've heard me say before, our mission here with Live Your Best Life Coaching is to strengthen the sickly, to heal the disease, to bind the broken, to bring back the scattered, and to seek the lost. Um, in our last lesson, our last video that I did, we talked about citizenship. And you walking in the revelation of your citizenship. Today's lesson will also uh, go along with that lesson. It we are going to discuss your present identity today, and um, we learn in Ephesians chapter two verse nineteen that now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. So, um, you know, prior to salvation, prior to asking Jesus to be Lord of Lords over your life, we're called aliens. We're aliens in a foreign nation, and we're strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world, as we learned in Ephesians 2.12 in our last lesson. lesson. <clears throat> but now we're a new man. And we're part of the grand partnership that has been made possible between the Jew and the Gentile. Um, and its operative impact and purpose of the household of God as found in Ephesians 2, 13 and 19. We have been brought near and made one. The enemy has been abolished already. Jesus said it is finished. The, the enemy has been abolished with the middle wall of the partition that was between us broken down as found in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 13 through 15 making us one body with common access by one spirit unto the Father as found in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 16 through 18. So therefore we are fellow citizens of the household of God. Really let this sink in. You are a fellow citizen of the household of God. You are a citizen of the holy city. Um, we are built on the foundation of the apostles and the and the prophets built on the foundation of Jesus Christ, our cornerstone. We are fitly framed together, growing into a holy temple for a habitation of God through the Spirit, as found in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. We're now displayed in a fellowship of past and present, bond and free, male and female, all new partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, as we see in Galatians chapter 3, verses 22 through 29, and in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. So notice that now unto the principalities, I'm sorry, let me go back and look at this again. Um, notice that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. The enormous impact is according to the eternal promise or the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. God has designed his salvation for you in such a way that you cannot fail to achieve his plans for you. You should humbly thank him for what he has accomplished in you through Christ Jesus. So as we close today's lesson, today's video, um, I want you to remember that because you are born again, you are a citizen of the holy city. And that means that you are royalty. Your king is the king of kings and the lord of lords. He's your father. And you are royalty. 
So, you know, overcomers are extraordinary. And you're an overcomer through Christ Jesus. You think differently. You talk differently. You act differently. You've never been where you're going. An eternal banquet is prepared for you. You walk in the kingly anointing. And the kingly anointing is keeping spiritual poise in an environment of hostility and disrespect. So, you know, maybe maybe somebody's coming against you at church or somebody at work thinks they want your position. They might not know everything that you do, and so they try to tear you down. But you are poised. You are royalty. And you don't have to stoop to their levels. You don't have to argue with them. You just live your life in Christ before them as a living example, as a representative of God's kingdom. Our closing thought is from Revelation chapter 3, verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my Father in his throne. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he surround you with his favor as a shield. And may he bring you his peace, which surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, um, I encourage you to contact me today. You can go to reginasanders.net, hit the contact button, contact me, and let's see how we can work together to help you really grasp that revelation of being royalty, of living your best life in Christ Jesus, of walking in his purpose for your life and overcoming the obstacles that the enemy tries to place in front of you. As a life coach, that's what I do. You, you, We talk, you share with me your dreams, your desires, the things that God has placed upon your heart. We set goals and, and I hold you accountable to achieving those goals. And we uh, move you towards that destiny that is your purpose. That is not a place that you say, I have finally arrived. Because we're, we won't arrive on this side of heaven. But we will be on a continuous journey. And you'll find that as you reach certain goals, God gives you even greater goals to achieve. And you can do it because all things are possible with God. And you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. So take a moment today. Go to reginasanders.net. Hit contact and let's begin a beautiful relationship moving you closer towards your destiny. God bless you.